Hey guys, good morning. Colton here with another raid video. Gonna go in all in with my primals for some summons. I did like 10 the other day. But today we are gonna go all in and see how that looks for primals versus getting all these mythicals, right? I have one mythical exactly on the account, Mikaige. I show showcased her yesterday on my team for the Fire Knight. Uh, she was fun, all right, but I want to see something else than Mikage. Honestly, though, uh, it's not like I have the books for it, but still, I would love to use it and have the problem after the fact, all right? I've seen lots of Primal Shard opening videos so far, and everybody seems to be extremely lucky. I hope I, ha I am of similar fate, uh, and, and Void's only to be my, my, the bane of my existence, right? So, Alaz is pretty cool. Garol is pretty cool. There's 12 up for grabs. I have one. Undertorts doesn't have one. And then there's Demon Spawn, which we cannot get until we finish the um, Curse City five months of full completions, right? So, should be interesting. Crixia, Garol, Alaz are in my top three, I would, I, would, I would say. Everything else is cool. But the ones I really don't want is um, Gizmak. I don't see really his usage just yet maybe although i tested him mezzomel kind of sucks and then i think aphidius also is like bottom tier in terms of usefulness but he kind of looks cool because he turns into a crab so <laughs> let's go in there let's start the video with some summons i've got 62 primals 62 primals i would love to get a teodor so he's gonna be in there in my um in the chances and uh yeah there's a 20x chance actually for him to pick him up i've got 62 primals guys and i'm hoping for the best here so let's get started i'm gonna do some singles here just two of them and then i'm gonna go for a temple and see how that works out for the account let's see oh there's a lego there it is and i get a teodor nice we hit the 20x we hit the 20x good okay that was good Theodore just um, appeared on the account. I think, though, I'm going to go for another one. I want to have at least two Theodores on the account. So I'm going to go for another one because you never know how useful he's going to be. So I'm going to keep him in there for this one. Although Kalvalax and Xavier would be still amazing. Uh, but yeah, the 2% is actually pretty cool on this one for the legendaries. Let's continue on with Primals. Let's do a 10 pop and uh, see how that works out. In terms of legendaries... I got like three so far from my primal, so... Oh, there's a mythic! And I got Androg! Yes! <laughs> there we go! Androg, the first mythic on the account, is an actually really good one! Yes! There we go, Androg! Androg joins in the account. The Bannerlord, amazing champion that can cast and feeble even on bosses. Uh, to be nerfed soon, but for now, can cast and feeble on bosses, <laughs> and uh, he also has a pretty interesting kit on his first first form with the defensive based, um, both attacks, but also kind of a uh, recovery mechanic where he heals and he extends the duration. So you have a pretty solid team with this guy around with both of his forms. Works very well for the Hydra. Can even build him as a damage dealer slash support. If that's what you're going for. But yes, I hit it. I hit Androg. And we're only just getting started. I'm uh, I'm honestly happy with just this. But let's go on. Obviously, let's go, let's go. Um, I think it's the red the red t-shirt. The red cold brew t-shirt that I'm wearing. Just happened to be. Uh, um, right, uh, another Lego. Let's see. <laughs> Get a Razin. Okay. <laughs> Razin Skarhai joins the account once more. I have two of them maxed out for the Cursed City. The Cursed City, you need um, you need at least two Razins. I would say there's one specific stage like two months ago, two rotations ago, that utilizes him. I would say you need two at level 60. The, the Terminator depletion that he has, even though it's 56 turns cooldown, it's, it's still good um, and, and helps to push for that specific stage. So, how far we're in? We're 40 in with two legendaries and one mythic. <laughs> these, are, these are crazy odds. Crazy odds. Um, I'm happy. Happy so far. So, we reset the pity on both Legos and the mythics with this summoning session. 
So should be interesting on when the next is gonna come. For legendaries though. War Mother! Oh my god! War Mother joins in the account. It's the first War Mother on the account. It's a non-dupe. Bombs. Bomb debuff that detonates after two turns. Um that she has. She was like the OG bomb champion with Shazar. And then we had others joining in like um Nishak and Gaius. And uh she used to be like a meme because bombs weren't that big way back. But um, she can actually be used in crazy bomb teams because she has an instant activation skill for AoE. So like Gaius has in one skill, she has it as an AoE. So she can definitely be used um, definitely be used in, in a situation where you b bomb activate and, and have some fun in arenas. But so far, it's going very nice. <laughs> it's going very nice. Um, let's carry on though. This is, this is another 10 pop. And, uh, my god, this is going so well. Let's see, Deacon Armstrong, Raider, Umetogi. Okay, yeah, this, this had to, had to go this way. We have 20 left. I'm gonna do 10 quick singles. I want to do singles. Uh, it feels, feels much, much cooler. Although, I don't like seeing the rares coming out of these ones. Um, in general, primals... Are something that is very difficult to get in the game live arena is somewhere where you can get like four per month just from the primal quartz at least where i am in terms of the ranking and then hydra oh another lego oh my god what is happening rorik wyrmbane co coming into the account again i have two or three copies of this dude he was a fusion way way back he has an interesting stun mechanic with his a2 if it's, it's a very conditional. So I think he is actually a target. He should be a target of a fix in the future and making him a little bit more interesting. But Rorik Wimbrain joins in the account. I have him already at least once. I believe I have him twice. My Barbarians is really stacked at the moment. But yeah, let's carry on. Let's carry on with this and see. Okay, we get an epic uh, right at the gate. Wizgar is a recent one that I got that I'm uh, happy about because it's a non-dupe. And I, I'm slowly building him up, so the account um, looks good. But let's see. Let's see. Three more or something. Three more, yeah. Three more um, primals. Two slasher. And then I'm going to do a, pop, a 10 pop after this. All right, we get uh, Melga. Okay. 10 pop is coming right now, guys. We got the Lego, though, from the single, so that's interesting. Also interesting that the uh, Theodore has still not hit the account again. So, final 10 pop, really big summoning session, guys. I will be building Androg in this video right after we finish the summon, so stay stay with me on this one. But, yeah, um, Neldor, Rhineblade, Shatterbones. Come on. Let's see, let's see. And final one. All right, that was that was the summoning session on primals. Very interesting. Out of 62, I got, I believe, four. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to get showered by the packs now. Um, I got four, four legendaries and one mythic. Very good odds. Very good odds out of this one. So I will, I will level up Theodore eventually. Um, War Mother. I, I'll find some use, and of course, Androg will also be joining the account. Pretty cool. Plus, I finished this one. Pretty sure Fortune of De Deck of Fate is, is finished. So this one, uh, I wonder if I'll be able to hit... Oh, three blues in a row. Let's see. Get a barrel. All right, that's going to help for Androg. Three blues in a row. Greens, greens. Oh, there's a purple. All right. Come on. Let's hit another green. No, purple. All right. Green, green, blue, purple. Mm. Yeah, the chances of getting three purples in a row is astronomically low. Oh, energy. Okay. Blue, purple, purple. Oh, oh of course. Of course. Oh, it was the next one. Come on, dude. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there must be ten, right? So let's skip one. 
Ah, uh, skip one. There it is. Yeah, we can't we can't finish this one. Yeah, we can't finish it. There it is. There's a mythic book and closing it off with that one. <laughs> I think I did like three in a row. Um in total, like two greens. No, two greens, one blue. Yeah, two greens, one blue in total is what I've done. Um quite interesting. Do I even have a um soul for that dude? S dude, it's so funny. I have all the souls for every mythical, almost. But not for the one I I just got. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's go and build Androg very uh, very quickly, guys. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Androg is fully built. I'm trying out this, this recommended build by uh, one of our clanmates. And I thought, okay, let's try him in a nine-piece protection set. Why? Because he can apply lots of buffs to the whole team. And those buffs can be protected, which helps for the Hydra. And also with each buff, look at that, allies deal 5% more damage per each buff placed by the wearer. It very it's very difficult to get a 9-piece protection, but uh, I managed to get some pieces together. It's not the best build, but I'm running him like in a damage dealer slash support. The health is very low that he has. I have no accuracy, which is going to be a problem for my debuffs, but I'm trying things out. And um, if... If I really need that debuff application through his second form, his first form is a support that doesn't apply debuffs. So I was thinking if I'm going to keep him in the first form and do not need the second form, then I don't really need the accuracy and I don't have a blessing for him. So things get tricky when you're trying to get the nine piece protection bonuses. Uh, plus my blessings, I think, could use some work. Um, not blessings, the um, ascensions. Ascensions could use some work. Running him in Warmaster for now, but... Yeah, things can change. We've got the, the free gear removal also today. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So let's go and have a look at him in. Um, I could show him in the Hydra. I don't have my best team available right now because I used the key already. So I'm going to just run Brutal a little bit with him. So I have this this team that I'm probably going to, um, I think. I think I'm going to remove. Well, I could remove Newt here. It's too many supports. Defense down and block buffs. I would love to have the block buffs more consistent. So out of all of these, I think it's Krisk that is the most replaceable. I won't have the provoke, but I guess I, I will be using Husk there for the provoke. So I can use Androg for now and um, I'll have him. I don't have him skilled up, guys. I don't have the books at the moment. That's another big problem with the mythicals, although it's a problem I prefer to have. All right, you, you want to have the problem rather than not having the mythicals and just use the mythicals uh, for now. He does get ignored, ignore resistance when um, when you book him out. So I'm, I'm wondering what what the ratio is compared to normally, because 20 is it 20 percent, strictly 20 percent or is it like. How how is how is does that twenty percent work? I would have loved it that twenty percent also ignored the three percent that always exists, but um, okay. So increase the duration of all buffs. No, I'm gonna use this. Increase resistance, strengthen, continue seal buff on all allies. Look at all those buffs. We got four buffs. The protection set's gonna be huge for us. We we do the HP burn now with my boy R tag. I need a provoke. I need a provoke. There's the provoke. Let's do the big nuke. Actually, with um, max HP nukers, I guess he's not the best, right? Because the max HP nukers are limited by the damage that they do. So in this scenario that I'm running, it's not the best thing ever, right? Because um, I'm already being limited by the well their skills. So I, it would be better if I used him in, in a team where I'm not limited by the damage that I could do like 10% of the enemy max health. So there's a provoke there. Um, yeah, the protective buffs are pretty cool so far. Block buffs didn't land before, so that's an issue. But Androg lo looks amazing so far. We get resisted there. Um, it's, it's because of the resistance up though. I don't have high resist on him. Got like 250, which isn't a lot at all for, for him to be a, um, a mischief tank. So with the increased resistance, yeah, I can do it, but mm. all right. And when he hits with his A1, look at that. Increased defense buff on everybody just to add on top of everything else that he has. Pretty cool. I'm going to switch on his form now 
because I want to see him in action in the other form a little bit, but uh, let's see. Let's switch his form. Metamorph. Look at that. Beautiful. And then he does this. Attacks all enemies. Decreases distance. Debuff. Weaken and enfeeble. Uh, if they are under 50%, the debuff cannot be removed. So um, I would try to do this, but he's not going to land it. Um, increase his champion's accuracy by 10 for each buff on each enemy. So uh, what? 20 accuracy now? It's all get. Yeah, I won't land anything. I landed it once, of course. Um, it was very much expected. So yeah, I'd rather keep him in the first form rather than the second form, especially with this build that I'm running now. Uh, but I think I could possibly run him in a six piece protection since I don't like I don't see the block buffs. Oh, yeah, I could use the block buffs in this form. Yes, but I don't see really the use, especially in this scenario for just added damage when I cannot exceed the 10% of the, their um, their health. Like with Newt or with Husk. Unless I completely change my teams again. To fit them around him. Um, yeah. So pretty cool champion. Let's let's end this. I don't, I don't think he did any damage at all. In this. What? 10 turns? 15 turns? I don't expect his damage to be high at all. So. If I run him strictly as support. And then just not go damage. And go all tanky. That could also be. Something to think about. Oh, all those buffs now are going to get um, spread around by the mischief head. That's not going to be nice. I need to block buffs. Let's see. Put all those buffs on our team. Some of them are protected. It's like 75% chance. But it's still kind of low. You ask me. Oh, we get eaten already. So quick. Let's see. Defense down. Yeah, the like the Artak combo, Husk, Newt, it doesn't fit the whole the whole team with Andro. It's just that my first team has already been used. And but I could potentially change my brutal team now and move somebody from my first team down to the brutal team and see how that goes. Do I not have uh, anything with the Newt? I don't have his uh, A3. Getting getting my Terminator stolen over and over again. Yeah, it's not nice. We're not running like some some uh, resistance. Your your Terminator can get stolen if you don't care about your buffs. The Terminator is really crucial because he's not letting he's not letting my Newt get a turn. That's a problem. Right, let's see. Yeah, the damage is horrible so far. But I just wanted to see him in action a little bit and play around with... Oh, yeah, this head is just going crazy on me, man. It's not fair at all. So Newt goes, takes out the head, takes out the shield, and then I've got my tank back, basically. Let's end the battle and see. He didn't do any damage? No, 240k. Yeah, he didn't have even time to try and do damage, so... I could potentially change his masteries at all. How do you guys use Androk? You use like a similar build, like try protection set. Um, nine piece protection is huge if you can fit the other champions in there. Because yeah, the, the extra 5% damage, it really depends on what team you're going to run. If you're running champions that are not limited, like high damage champions crushing Rend, um, then yeah, sure. You can run him with like Trundas for sure. I guess if you don't have the full combo with the human coach, you can run him with the Trandas um, if you want to. Although usually Trandas, it's pretty easy to build even a bare bones Tranda um, Hydra team for hard. It's just that the combo to get it going uh, seems interesting. So yeah, guys, this was my first ever mythical. I will definitely put in some more work and change out his build, play around with the builds that I have already and my teams. And uh, you should expect a full showcase once I have all that figured out. Thank you all so much. It was a very lucky summoning uh, session today. Thanks again, guys, for watching, subscribing, and supporting the channel overall. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.